cold, frosty one out there. This morning, it huh? was going <laughs> to say that. <laughs> you know, yeah. it's uh, about our coldest morning in three weeks. Yeah. Got to go back to the first or second or fourth of January yeah. to find mornings where we dip morning. down into the teens. So, yeah, prepare for the winter chill in the air. Okay. Prepare to spend a little time scraping your windshield, but it's January. You yeah. kind of expect these things <laughs> this time of year. I want to show you this. You know, we had that Wednesday evening snow. Okay, so right. we've got to update the drought watch. What did it amount to? About two tenths of an inch in the rain gauge. Yearly total now approaching a half inch. Uh, we're already basically at average for January. Uh, should be at 0.27 for this time of the month, and uh, we're 0.15 above average. So, hey, it's a great start to 2015. No additional moisture coming for the next few days. We finally chased that last bit of snow off the southeastern part of New Mexico. We've got the quiet skies overhead. Now, on the thermometer, here are the numbers. Zero Taos, four Grants, 13 Santa Fe. Look at Angel Fire at 20 below zero. Uh, the temperature just updating right now. Well, you've gone from one below to zero in return. Hey, that's a little improvement, right? 20 degrees in Berlin, southern New Mexico. We've got those temperatures down in the teens and 20s. Roswell at 11 degrees right now. Roswell, your winds are calm. But look at Santa Fe where the winds are 13. Vegas, they're 10. Raton, they're also 10. Rudoso, 15. Pretty significant wind chill factor out there this morning. Feels like 5 in Rudoso. 2 below Santa Fe, 16 below right now in the Raton area. So bitterly cold in spots. Folks, just prepare to do battle with this chill. Did you see that wind chill in Las Cruces? Pretty rare to see them down in the single digits, but right now it feels like seven degrees in Cruces. Mild Pacific westerlies and the storm track lifting north. That's kind of our weekend preview. High pressure in control today, but we don't warm up much. But give those mild Pacific westerlies about two more afternoons. I think by Sunday, a lot of us will see our afternoon highs back up above 50 degrees, which for January really ain't so bad at all, right? Mostly sunny skies expected out there today. Let's look ahead towards tonight and our Saturday. Still expecting those bright sun filled skies. The one thing we will watch early next week. Clouds will start to swell up from the south, and potentially the next weather system that hits New Mexico with a little bit of rain and snow looks to be a Monday night, Tuesday morning deal. At this point, though, that storm system does not look to be too strong. Southeast New Mexico will do a little snow melting today as the sun comes back out. Middle 40s from Roswell down to Carlsbad. You're stuck in the 30s in Ruidoso this afternoon. Southwestern New Mexico, a little fresh snow on the ground, mainly across the high terrain. We'll start to melt that away today. It always seems to last in the shade, though, around here in our state. But we expect upper half of the 40s on the afternoon thermometer. Northwest New Mexico staying a bit on the cool side, feeling like January, about 40 to 45 degrees most spots tonight, landing well back in the teens to about 20 degrees. Santa Fe, just shy of 40 this afternoon. We will be in the 40s for the Espanola Valley. But, uh, you know, those temperatures around Taos at 37, Red River at 37, considering how cold it is this morning, that's really not a bad warm-up on the day. Sadly, though, in the Sangre de Cristos, it'll be back into the single digits, both above and below zero. Raton, in Vegas, right around 40 tonight, back down into the teens, and we've got Edwin and Moriarty. Lots of fresh snow on the ground. I don't think we'll climb out of the 30s this afternoon. Here we go, the west side of the Sandias. These numbers are about five below average for this time of year. And note tonight, not quite as cold as this morning, but we will be dipping down back into the lower 20s with some teens expected in the River Valley. Here's a look at that seven day forecast. Look at the day by day warming showing up here. Almost 50 by the end of the day Saturday, and we're well into the 50s for Sunday. Mild temperatures will be the story next week. Again, we are watching, though, the potential for a week weather. Weather system with a bit of a wintry mix possibly coming our way late Monday and on into Tuesday morning. But otherwise, in the next seven days, that's the only bit of active weather coming our way. Marissa? Thank you.